Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sorab and today we're gonna talk about a little bit update on the tank. So what's new? Uh, at the moment it's very bright because I actually took out the main light and I just left with the small one because I don't think the shrimp needs a lot of light. They don't really like it to be honest. So I'm just doing it this for the video. And to be honest, uh, this tank is really small, so it doesn't really need that much light. And the plants that I have in here, they don't really need much light anyway. So what's new? So you can see like there is a small fries, like small fish over here and over here, <laughs> and a bunch of them over there. So these are the spawns of the guppies that I got the other, now what, three days ago, I think. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I didn't know where to put them and I had, a, I don't know if you guys noticed in my video, I had like a sm small, small worms like, uh, like floating around, you know, like wiggling and floating around. So I let this guy loose, these guys loose, and they actually clean up the, the worms pretty good. And they actually, the reason why you see this small fry over here is, now it learned that the worms are coming from the substrate, you know, from the bottom and it's like totally cleaning it out and they're having some food to eat as well. And uh, I'm actually kind of overfitting this tank at the moment because I want those snails to grow at the back. Uh, if those are ram horn snails, I will be really happy. Yeah, I know many people will be like, oh, why you need snails in your tank? A ram horn snail, they will breed like crazy. Yes, they do breed like crazy. Uh, all you have to do during that time is like, you don't feed a lot, you know, just feed, feed what you need. All right, <laughs> feed what you need. No, feed uh, this correct amount. I mean, like just a little. Or if you want, you know, two times. Oh, look at this ram horn. Oh, this one is getting bigger. I hope it's a ram horn because the reason why I'm saying it it might not be a ram horn because ram horns when they are like standing they're like kind of like forward and these ones they're like kind of like sideways you know like a pond snail or something like that and I don't want that uh, because I don't like the way they look so if that happens and there's a lot of them over here sorry if my finger is blocking uh if there are a lot of them over here the snails that i don't oh look at that look at that you see that worm thingy wiggling around yeah there were a bunch of them uh, hopefully one of those fries will see it and eat it please please come on do it yeah, but they will not do it because now i'm recording them or maybe they're full honestly they have been like oh yes yes come on come on Come on, where is it, where is it? Oh, that's the one, that's the one. Oh, I think they're full, come on. Or maybe it's too big for their mouth. So yeah, some of the worms, they will bite it and they will let it go because I think it's too big. So eventually, look at the, they were so tiny and they're like so big already. So I'm happy that they're kind of cleaning the worms up and they're getting bigger as well. And the red cherry shrimps are looking good. I look at this bright female over here. Now that's the color that you want, you know? And even better than that, like this. The reason why she is not better than the other one, even though she's a bit darker, because her legs are white, you know? Uh, if I can pull, yeah, there you go. Her legs a little bit white. And hers, as you can see, her legs are at least like brighter red so eventually you want her spawns uh to be like you know carrying on furthermore and the the translucent ones that you're seeing the small ones because they're babies so they still have time to you know uh, become more brighter color so to uh, have a bright you know color or color that you want sometimes they will mutate and have different colors that's how you will get uh, yellow shrimps, orange shrimps. And if you keep that line, and if you are successful in keeping that line, the color stays. So yeah, if you're wondering how the color came yeah, for the cherry shrimp, uh, yeah, they mutated and that's how they get the color. So a bunch of uh, these new ones I can see are all like sakuras. So they are like not really low grade, but they're like kind of second low grade. 
Uh, can you see this? Uh, this baby shrimp like kind of have a, like a blue hint, like a, you know, uh, oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's just my eyes. So uh, anyway, so I have only two good ones, and then the rest uh, are like kind of okay. So right now I want the population to grow. So it will, it will take time for that to happen because most of them are gone because. Uh, I have a Facebook page as well, so I po post updates about shrimps and stuff. And when people find out, uh, like the hobbies, they came and did wanted to either trade with me or, you know, made an offer that I could not resist. And then I had to, well, well, well the trade happened eventually. So what I'm, what I'm, the point is, uh, actually the shrimp lovers in Nepal, I didn't know that, you know, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So. Yeah, uh, so yeah, and the update was, you can see we have baby guppies who's cleaning the tank, the worms, and the, hopefully these are ramhound snails and uh, they're going to be big. And I want them a lot as well because I want to have them in all the tank. They're very good cleaners after your fish, after your shrimp. You know, overall, they're good to have, although some people might not like it. So anyway, another update, upgrade, what happened was I was using two pumps, um, separate pumps for each tank. Uh, I will get to the other tank in a minute. So what happened is uh, I got this pump where you can actually connect two in one. So the reason why I didn't have it before was because I only had one tank and I got another tank. And now I have another 20 gallon, uh, which I'm working on and there's one more, another 20 gallon was being made at the current moment. So uh, hopefully if you guys stick around, you know, I can like show you guys more, you know. I want to, you know, popularize shrimp in Nepal as well. I think they're very beautiful. Look at it, it looks so colorful. And if you have like a color, like for example, over here, we have yellow, you know, they, they look beautiful. They are beautiful, you know. And right now I have five of the uh, yellow cherry shrimps which are uh, uh, carrying eggs. And again, I posted on Facebook, a bunch of people came and now I'm left with around 20 pairs or so. So I know you shouldn't do that, but they made an offer that I couldn't resist again. <laughs> you know, it helps. It helps me as well to, you know, make new tanks. It helps me, uh, you know, to do more, videos and actually i'm doing this for me whatever i'm recording is a documentary for myself because i'm really interested in it and if i'm able to capture each and every stage and everyone like you know if anyone is watching it and enjoying it but, but still you know so it's my kind of a for me it's also a document document that i'm doing for myself like a homework so yeah and the parent guppies over here yes this is a temporary setup because like i said my tanks i was not expecting oh some of the, yeah oh wow there was only one which got down from that hole now there are three of them down there all right so uh, at last time i couldn't show you guys how the guppy looks so this time this is perfect so there are some beautiful colors you know if i can show you the guys the the female that i was talking about we didn't have an eye. The pirate female. Maybe she's gone. Or maybe. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh, but she's on this side. But the other side, she doesn't have an eye. So we will call her Captain. So Captain is alive. <laughs> Great. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, temporary setup because I didn't have, a, uh, I didn't feel like keeping the guppies over there. So that's why the fries got over there and the parents are here so this is temporary setup i had it going i really wanted to remove this middle part but i couldn't because it's kind of joint you know so sucks so they had more room so maybe i will just cut it with the scissors and make it open you know just for temporary so this is kind of cool because if i have anything new to acclimate or anything i can like use this uh box very useful all right so other than that oh yes yes so the shrimps okay 
let me get back to the shrimps again over here so first uh, when i got shrimps uh, many of the shops they didn't have any food for the shrimps you know they only had like a uh, pallets for fish they had all kind of food for fish but no nothing for shrimp so what i had to do was either i had to use uh, this product over here fish flakes because uh, they are flaky and they also contain algae as well so something that they eat right oh, i cannot open all right open it right, cool i just want to show you guys how it looks so so yeah, I was feeding this uh, once it, you know, okay, let me, let me just show you. I don't want to overfeed, but you know what? I was going for that anyway. So what happened is if you don't like push it down, they will just float on the top. So what I have to do is eventually they will sink. So I had to like, you know, kind of like put my hand inside all the time. So that's how they float. Sorry, I'm just trying to get something to wipe my hands off. So yeah, you see the food, so the flecks are floating down and slowly going. But this is not an ideal food for the shrimp. But anyway, I fed them, but like I said, I'm, I want to overfeed this tank as well because I want to grow the snails. I want to you know, help the guppies as well and also the shrimps. I want, I want to explode them. Shrimp explosion. <laughs> so yeah, I was uh, feeding this flex, right? But I was not happy with it because it was not a proper food for uh, shrimp. So the other one was this. The next best thing which I can get was a Palco catfish tablet. You know, like these are like a wafers, uh, not wafers. These are like a sinkable pills, as you can see. These are big. These are nice as well. I mean, they eat it, but they were not happy about it, you know, they will not, they will touch it because they were just hungry. And, you know, as a, as a, you know, pet lover, I have a, I have dogs, you know, and I understand, like, if you have a pet, you should be, you know, able to understand your pets or whether they're happy or not, even though they're not speaking, even though they're fish, you know, whatever, cat, dog, birds, <clears throat> I think you should. Uh, be able to understand that so so what I felt like was my shrimps were not happy about the fish flex and this uh, pa uh, sinkable palate for pleco and catfish so and it was very difficult but I got it because I had to like you know uh, buy it a bit like extra so I got this finally a product that you have for shrimp in Nepal. Can you believe it? So I bought like a six, I don't know, I bought like seven. I bought like seven and I have one of them. So uh, just to show you guys how it look. By the way, I posted on Facebook as well. Uh, I will put the link below if I remember. So these are like tiny, tiny uh, pellets, same as the sink. This also sinks, by the way. Just drop it down, it will go to, right to the bottom. Uh, I don't want to feed them now, but as you, these, you, you see these crumbles? These are all the pellets that. So these pellets, they sink as well, and they were like running over it, like crazy. You, you see the gathering over here? This is what I just fed them. And I'm so happy that they love it. So I give it some to my yellow shrimps as well. And you know, it's very, it's nice to give uh, your shrimp who are carrying eggs, you know, to give a proper food for your shrimp. So this, I have a, so I put it on Facebook. I, I brought like seven and then uh, one, I used it for myself and three, I sold it. Four, I sold it. <laughs> Four, I sold it. One, I used it and i have two left all right oh my god matt anyway so yeah they really love this stuff i have only two left and i have put it on facebook if you're in nepal and if you're living in Kathmandu, uh, and if you want it for your shrimp i have two left but they're i think they will be gone by the way when once i put if, if they're not gone before i post this they are definitely gone after i post this so I'm pretty sure. 
So yeah, the other thing uh, I want to talk about is the substrate as well because uh, this uh, substrate which I'm using is not really good for the shrimp because it's active, it's good for plants. Uh, I didn't uh, had the, the soil w which I needed at the time so I washed this soil like a couple of times to make sure that all the, you know, uh, acid, whatever stuffs that's making the shrimp upset. Eventually, like this kind of buffer uh, substrate, uh, substrates, they last for two years. So, you know, eventually they will die out, but uh, this tank was kind of fresh. So still the substrate was fresh, I mean, so I had to do that. So I did that. I knew they were not happy about it. And guess what? You can't find eco swells around here. And I did the same thing. I had to like talk with a few people and guess what? I got it. I got the band thing. So if anyone is interested in Nepal, like I said in Kathmandu, uh, send me a message or a comment down below, you know, I will get it to you if you want it. This stuff is good, like really good. Oh, I don't know if I can show you properly, but I will I'll put uh, the picture um, in this video so that you guys can see it clearly. So this, this stuff is made for your shrimp and plant. So it's a little bit expensive than your regular substrate, I think, because it's so difficult to find. Usually it's not that expensive, but over here in Nepal, man, things are kind of difficult to get because people don't know what to get, you know? And they, all the stuff that people use it because you give them less option to use it, you know? So I'm trying to, uh, you know, share this, all this information, you know, share the products, you know, and tell people where they can get it or how they can get it. Most of the time, you, it will be difficult for, if you can get it, please let me know because I'll be happy to buy. If more people buy more shrimp products, that means we will have it more in Nepal and we will have more options for our shrimps. <laughs> Looks like I was like pro protesting. The shrimps anyway uh that's not the point the point is uh so far this is how it's going it's going great so now we'll be working on the 20 gallon tank if you guys want to watch it if you guys have any suggestion for it to be honest i don't really know what to put inside but i have an idea of a, a aquascape that i want to do so i'm going to do the aquascape first and then maybe later we can decide what we can what i want to put i guess you know at this point <laughs> so anyway thank you for watching guys you know any information anything put it down on the comment section below till then take care bye bye and see ya